let me show you how can you be 100% sure that your program is going to be completely collision free even when you're using multiple robots and even when the synchronization of your station cannot be 100% guaranteed. This is going to be interesting. So if you're familiar with FastSuite E2, you've probably worked with the collision detection before. This works very great when you have a robot and you want to check if there is any collisions with a workpiece or maybe with another unit. But when you have multiple robots working together, the problem becomes a little bit more complex. So let's consider a station like this. You have two robots working with a workpiece and doing the process on it simultaneously. The most obvious way of thinking is of course to try to keep them as far apart from each other, just doing the sequencing so they keep far away one from another. Now, if you're working with R welding, this can be particularly challenging because unlike with other processes, many times in R welding, you're not the one deciding the sequencing. There are many factors that affect this, like heat dissipation or deformation that make necessary to have a specific sequence. Might not match what is the best to keep a safe distance. However, it's necessary to make the process successful. And even more, this sequence might change over time. So let's change from our original sequence to a modified sequence. And we can see clearly here, just at the beginning, we have a collision in between our two robots. This is only the beginning of the problem. A lot of processes have also some kind of fail-safe proof. This means, let's say that a wire goes in, it gets stuck. Uh, instead of completely stopping the station, many times the robot will go back, burn it, and then try to go again. And the same happens with cameras or laser scanners or many other types of sen sensor systems. The only problem is all of these systems take time. So that means if your original sequence was having enough clearance to go through your entire program, but now one of the robots is out of the original timing, it could be that with that small delay, now you have a collision. So how do you avoid all this? Well, enter FastSuite E2 swept volumes. The new functionality of E2, it can give you now the chance to create a volumetric representation of the entire program. And it's as easy as go into the swept volume mode. Here you can select the different robots you want to create a swept volume with, just with a couple of clicks. And this will allow us to create, just with one click, the entire space that the program is occupying in space. And now we can clearly see in the middle, we have this section where both of the programs are occupying the same space. This is a shared space of the programs. And all of this is a danger zone. But we can combine this information with the information that we already have in our toolpath. That means that we can set this as collision zones and then connect each robot to the other robot's swept volumes. Then the result of this two would be the representation of which ones are the toolpaths of each one of the robots that fall into this shared space. We can then simply create a couple of signals and then have each one of the robots setting up a signal every time that is entering the shared space and have the other one checking if the robot is within that shared space before entering the same space. That means that regardless what is our sequence or regardless if there is some kind of temporal discrepancy, we are always going to be sure that before entering that section that is shared by both of the robots, we would always check if the other one is already there. And this would only be deactivated, yes of course, when we leave this risk zone. This would allow us to program in a very adaptive way, so we don't have to worry anymore if any of the parts of our program is going to have a collision. In essence, swept volumes help you create a visualization of the entire program in just seconds. They help you create collision-proof toolpaths. They give you the flexibility of changing program sequencing and makes way easier to handle stations with multiple robots. I stand by the belief that the number one benefit of OLP is to be able to avoid collisions during programming or during the running of your program. And Sweat Volumes is a great tool and I think it's going to be a huge benefit for everyone that is handling complex programs, but also the simple ones. This functionality also helps you visualize for simple stuff like clampings or any other device that is moved outside of the control or one of the units. So give this a look from yourself, try the new sweat volume functionality and I think it's going to be a great benefit for all your future programming.